Here we go. Hi, I'm Dr. Shelley, and I'm here to tell you that this new NGN NCLEX is not impossible. It is different, and I would even wager it's more difficult. But this new NCLEX exam, the NGN, the next generation NCLEX, you can do this. Now, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button because not only am I going to tell you about the NGN new NCLEX, I'm going to give you videos, actual videos to help you structure your study habits in a way that you can pass this next generation NCLEX. Mm -hmm. We got this. Now, you with me? Did you grab your coffee? Because I got a lot to say and here we go. Number one, in order for you to pass this new NGN, and I'm just gonna call it the NGN NCLEX, okay, going forward. In order for you to pass this, you gotta be structured and you gotta get yourself together. Here's what you gotta do. I got five big, huge tips and maybe a little extra love at the end. Number one, you have got to find some software that gives you real NCLEX style questions and it cannot be the old NCLEX style questions. No, you need the new NGN NCLEX style questions. They're different. They're so different. They're crazy different. They're going to have the case studies. There's going to be bow tie questions. They're going to be trends. You need um, charts. You need uh, patients' records. You've got to think out of the box on this one. It's critical. And the software that you purchase has got to have at least 2,000 questions. Otherwise, it's not enough. Okay? Y'all with me? That was tip number one. Tip number two. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. How did I go that fast? Uh-uh. Tip number one, the new NGN NCLEX. Look, 100 questions a day. What if you worked 12 hours? then don't do it that day because you have an average of 500 a week that you need to do. So if you do your math, 100 a day, you got two free days. What are those free days? Your 12 hour days. If you're working more than two 12 hour days a week, y'all working too much. That was for free. Now, come on over now, honey. I'm gonna tell you about yourself. Number two, I don't know what students are doing. When they prepare for NCLEX, they just be doing all kinds of crazy. No, to pass this new NGN NCLEX exam, you must take one subject at a time. My system at my nursing review course, the Shelley's Nursing Review, is mastery. You cannot move on to another subject until you've mastered that subject. What subject do I usually start students off on? I start them off on psych. Generally speaking, psych is a very important subject on the test. In fact, I'd wager to say 75 to 90% of the, the medications on the NCLEX exam are from the subject of psych. Now, when you master your one subject at a time, you need to do the rationales. What's the point if you don't? Hopefully you have some of the handouts like the type I give my students where you're taking notes on the actual information that you're learning about the subject and then you're looking at the rationales and taking more notes on the packets that you might have gotten from school even. Or, you know, if you just have a five subject notebook, I would start there. Just list the subjects that you have to have. And, uh, you know, I do have a, um, a real quick study guide, if you will. It's called my Oh My God Packet. And if you hit me up, I'll try to see if I can get it to you. But tip number three, this new test is going to be based on reading comprehension, which means you've got to brush up on understanding what you read, even if what you read was pages or paragraphs full. For example, some of you just graduated. In your case, you can just grab a textbook and go ahead and look at chapter highlights. Look at some of those boxes on the actual chapter for that subject. Let's say the subject is psych. You've got boxes and highlights and even a summary. You've got to understand what you're reading and you've got to take quick notes on that. Guess what those boxes are? They're called select alls that apply. I've been doing this for 20 years and I've been a nurse for 40. I can tell you the select all that apply are in those chapter highlights in those boxes. Don't sell your textbooks until you pass NCLEX. I see y'all all on Facebook trying to sell your little textbooks. That's retarded because you're behind need to read it now. Okay, 
Moving on to tip number four. Are you staying with me? Because I gave you tip number one. Tip number one was get some software with some NG in and collect questions. Tip number two was to go ahead and do one subject at a time. Tip number three was to go ahead and find that old textbook you was trying to sell before you saw this video. Tip number four. Listen. Your scores have got to be high. They've got to be 75% or higher. You have several software companies that have these pre-assessments in them. And you take this pre-assessment and you score 60 and they say something stupid like you have a really good chance of passing NCLEX. BS all day long. How the hell is 60, 65% passing? Not in my book, it ain't. Not on NCLEX, it ain't. That's why they all up in my classes telling me how they took that little pre-assessment exam on so-and-so, and so-and-so -and -so said they were ready to take their test, took their little happy self out here to take the test, and psh, failed, gotta give me some money. That was tip number four. Tip number five, you are blessed. Trust me, you are blessed. When I went to nursing school, there was nothing called Google, YouTube, nothing. You are so blessed that you have an entire nursing school online. Your nursing school is called YouTube. You need to get about three or four very, very, very good reviewers that are offering content. This test is about content. It's not no tricks, the whole Kaplan trickery stuff. No, we're not doing tricks today. We are doing content. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I do have the best, but there are really, really good ones out there. I'm not selfish, I spread the love. There are at least three that I would recommend that you go on YouTube and you find. One of the ones that I recommend highly, of course, I'm selfish, it's my own channel, is called HETV, Health Education Television. I actually put the actual subjects in the playlist. You know how when you go to YouTube and you're looking for something and you find all this other content and you just get lost in the sauce, like you're looking forever and ever and ever and you're like, oh my God, this is not organized. Well, in my situation, I took subjects and I made them a playlist. So remember, I told you to start with psych, and why did I tell you to start with psych? Let's just review, 75 to 90% of the meds on, on the NCLEX exam is from psych. So when you're taking your NCLEX exam, if you don't know psych meds, get ready to fail meds and be back in my class or something crazy. So when you're going on HETV and you're looking to get organized one subject at a time, start with my psych videos. I have at least nine or 10 videos in psych, just in psych. I've got the schizophrenia, I've got the depression, I've got the bipolar, I've got the OCD, I've got the personality disorders. Guess what guys, these are select alls on NCLEX. And this new test, it will have select alls, but I got some good news. Y'all ready for the good news? Mm -hmm, I've got good news. The good news, the good news is this test is literally 150 questions, no more. There's less, but there's no more than 150 questions. You have five hours to do it. And you get partial credit for your select dolls. I thought you'd like that. Now, I ain't got time to play with y'all. I got to go. I hope you remember my five tips. Let's quickly review the five tips for passing the new NGN and clicks. Get the software. Master one subject at a time. Do some reading comprehension in your old textbooks. Make sure your scores are 75% on average before you say you mastered a subject and move on to the next one. Watch some YouTube videos. And I don't care who you watch, just grab YouTube and look up psych videos, whatever the subject is. Now, I love you. Deuces. Peace. I'm out.